Over the course of the last 18 months, Bangladesh have been able to win test matches against Sri Lanka, England and Australia. All of them in their home all of them at their home grounds. All of them at home. They have now created a team that is capable of winning at their home grounds through a combination of reasonable pace bowlers, some good spinners, and a good batting setup. They have been able to fully master the conditions that they dis that they have at home in order to compete with any test team they have to face, even if they're not always going to win. The fact that they are so familiar and understanding and in control of the conditions as they are found in Bangladesh pitches means that they will never be blown out of the water in some sort of embarrassing mess. But now, things are becoming much more but now, a much bigger question is to face Bangladesh. The approaching test series is against South Africa in South Africa. Not only is it against one of the best teams in the world, but it is in the home, their home ground. It is in their home which means that the pitches will be flatter, more bouncy, will swing more, might be more green. And the old formula that teams from Asia are less capable of playing bounce and swing and swing definitely still applies to going to be very difficult for them to face against some very good seamers. Although Bangladesh don't have Stain or Philander playing, they still have plenty of very good fast bowlers and so there is no doubt that they will be able to bowl fast bouncy, swinging, intimidating stuff at the Bangladeshi batsman. It is almost inconceivable that Bangladesh will be able to repeat what they've done in the f previous three times, which is to draw one all with their opponents, winning one of the test matches, losing the other one, and having a tied series. It is almost inconceivable that they would be able to beat South Africa in a test match on their home turf. A 2-0 loss is far more likely, but the question is, will the Bangladeshi players be able to adapt themselves to the conditions of South Africa in order so that they may play more appropriately to the circumstances in order to compete and uh, provide a challenge keep the contest alive for as long as possible and that's where the real difference will come into play if the Bangladeshi players are able to make South Africa have to work for it really pushing the game into the fifth and fourth days, then it should be considered a victory. The fact that they are able to play competently, even when they're away, even when the conditions are unfamiliar with them, even though they're facing a far superior opponent pound for pound, if they are able to do a decent job, then they will have 
demonstrated just how much they have improved. If, however, it is a innings and 100 or 200 run victory in both the test matches and South Africa are able to score huge runs easily and the Bangladeshis are barely able to stay in, let alone score, and they end up get bowled out for 150 twice. Then that would tell us just how much more they need to go. Now, it would be totally unreasonable to try and to try to demand of Bangladesh that they find a way to defeat South Africa. The facts are that even the best Asian team coming over to South Africa and playing at home, at playing on their terms would be difficult. You wouldn't expect Sri Lanka to be able to do it, you wouldn't expect Pakistan to do it, and it would take a lot for, for India to even do it. And so the idea of us expecting Bangladesh to win a test match would be absurd. Things would be very Things would be far more interesting if, the, if it was flipped around and they were actually playing in Bangladesh because considering how South Africa are not the best at playing at spin and Bangladesh have reached and Bangladesh have been able to get three test match victories in the last 18 months by using their spin bowlers by taking control of the lower bounce of their local home conditions if the conditions suited them, you could easily imagine Bangladesh winning a test match against South Africa in Bangladesh. And I look forward to the day when that match happens. I don't know when South Africa are scheduled to next come over to Bangladesh, but I am looking forward to it. Because that should be a really good contest. That should really give us some really good cricket. Until then, um, I'm not expecting anything from this test series. If, but if Bangladesh can hold their own, score some runs, take some wickets, and stay in the contest for as long as possible, then this should be considered a successful tour.